Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. I feel like right now what this is saying is that you actually have um, something coming in. You have the devil card here and the hierophant. The queen of pentacles is here, the justice and the nine of pentacles. Something very, very good is coming in for you. It does bring a lot of security, a lot of stability, a lot of abundance. But it's how we always say new levels, new devils. It's like for you to get close to closer to heaven, you first right now, you're currently passing through hell. And that's just a part of the journey. It's okay. You don't have to allow this to be something that is going to stop you or slow you down or break you down. And I think that a lot of you, again, your spiritual team, they're very proud of you because although you have seen this type of toxic energy, although you've been able to recognize the the deception, the betrayal, the codependency, the, the toxicity here, like I said, the trickster energies, the dark spirits or entities or energies that have been coming around you, you still have managed to give whatever this battle is mostly to God. Um, you have chosen to exercise um, like your, your higher level of consciousness to fight whatever this battle is, which is actually very good. And I feel that a lot of you, that is the reason why your energy and everything else is still intact. For some of you, had you fought a situation back um, any differently than what you, you have, you very well could have been facing something that ha could have caused a loss for you with your security or your stability. Something here is being balanced out. A situation here is not quite as it seems at this time. Again, nine of pentacles here. Somebody definitely could have been doing something in the background to affect your energy. Energy, of course, is cur like currency is energy. Okay, money is energy. Everything is energy. Somebody has been doing something to you energetically that if you did not have um, the proper resolve, you could have possibly taken a major, major loss. I know some of you are saying, well, I have taken a loss, but whatever you lost, you're going to regain it. It was a, a lot of things have to happen in order for you to simply just learn here. I think though a lot of you have been in the Queen of Pentacles energy where you probably have been holding on to your security, your stability, extremely focused on work right now. Um, the Queen of Cups is here and the Ace of Swords. You will eventually be able to get back in that soft um healing energy that perhaps you're more comfortable in, especially being the empress. But first, right now, it was something here that you needed to see the truth about so that you can cut um, cut ties with something and, and wrap up a situation completely. All right. So that's kind of the overall energy that I'm picking up here. cars past present future um and then kind of see what's happening spiritually and then what's happening um in your your physical reality and we'll clarify okay right now you have the death card and the six of swords so right now something um in your life is definitely ending there's an ending here there's a transformation there is a new beginning, all right? In the past, there was three of cups here and the nine of swords. So in the past, um, it could have been a situation where you learned the truth about a friend group. You learned the truth about family members, um, something or someone that you were celebrating with. For some of you, you could have even realized that um, you were having some stress, fear, and anxiety because there could have even been some type of um, secret group, a cult, a coven, or whatever the case is. But there was some type of stress, fear, or anxiety that um, was coming from a particular group. Okay, or you could have just been very um, stressed out about whether or not you will have an opportunity to celebrate. Okay, in the future, you have the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So this is saying that in the future, you're going to become very passionate about moving in a new direction, trying something new, something that's going to bring you wish fulfillment. Now, what is happening spiritually, how you're feeling in your subconscious mind right now is the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords. As I said before, everything isn't as it seems right now. You may really feel like... Um, you've missed out on some kind of opportunity. The Three of Cups is here. So whatever this disappointment is uh, from the past, this right now is still kind of in your head space. It's still on your mind. You're still... Um, not uh, fully allowing yourself to accept an offer here. You could have had a breakup, a separation with something or someone. You could have lost a job, walked away from a job. There was something here that ended and it could have been tragic. It could have been traumatic. Um, it may have made you feel 
like you were hitting rock bottom or whatever the case may be. But Spirit is saying right now, there is something different being offered to you, but your, your focus is still on something from the past, okay? So it definitely could be a little bit hard for you to sit like fully accept that you have been deceived, that you've been hurt or taken advantage of in some way. And I feel like somebody came along that you thought appreciated you or who you appreciated. This person, they deceived you. Okay, somebody tried to like pretty much catch you when you were slipping with the hostilities card now. You were caught by surprise by whatever this deception or betrayal was. You didn't expect a person to do this to you. So most likely you've been hurt or deceived by someone that you actually care about. Somebody that you know. Someone close to you, okay? This could even be a childhood situation, all right? But you could be in a period right now where you are just reflecting on things that have happened. And again, you're unhappy about something here, all right? Now, what is happening now is the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you are about to really, really just take... um take charge in your life and make a decision to move in a totally different direction. All right, two of swords. I feel like you're tired of being in this stuck, stagnant energy. You're tired of being at the crossroads right now. You're tired of looking for a new beginning to come, okay, but constantly being met with a lot of disappointment. So I feel what's happening now is for some of you, you're in a period where it's time for you to pivot. You now are looking deeper within to figure out why exactly is it so difficult for you to have this newfound passion, this zest for life, for you to actually go towards wish fulfillment. You're very wounded about something because you did not receive the return on the investment that you were hoping for. This was a situation that was placed in your life to make you much, much stronger as a divine feminine, okay? This was a test of your of your character, of your will, of your endurance. And your spiritual team is saying, well, they appreciate what you've done, so don't be too hard on yourself. What is coming in, again, is new levels, new devils. You're going to face the devil here and have to cut some type of um, cord of attachment, a mindset, something outdated here in order for you to get to this higher level of consciousness, um, in order for you to get around people who are more wise, more mature, and also for you to become more wise and more mature um, in something that you're doing. Some of you definitely could have had some kind of um, financial loss. Sorry, there's a package. <laughs> a UPS person just walked up. I thought he was going to ring the doorbell. Okay, so let's see. So in the past, let's see what kind of the archetypes dealing with these people or this situation from the past. Remember, we have the three of cups and the nine of swords, okay? Um, unfortunately, somebody here could have found out that a person in the past was actually celebrating with a person that is, is your enemy, or you could have found out that a person you were celebrating with was secretly your enemy. You could have found out that there was a third party situation. Okay. I'm picking up a lot of this energy being focused on a, on a masculine energy. Some of you, um, uh, you're picking up a lot of the energy of a person who is possibly like your, your soulmate or a counterpart. There's a lot of shared energy here. Okay, like the divine feminine energy is here, but a lot of the situation at hand has everything to do with an actual masculine energy. There's a masculine out here. There actually could be a masculine energy that is very, very regretful for something that they have done to a feminine. And this is what's possibly happening. Yeah, this is a masculine energy. This person is very, very um, regretful for working with a group of people possibly lying to you, deceiving you, cheating on you, or whatever here. You went from being very appreciative to have this person in your life to re realizing that this person was very deceitful. This person was wearing a mask. This person presented themselves to you like they didn't have any type of jealousy, envy, or malice towards you. In actuality, this person was coming towards you to hurt you. So in the in the recent past here, you have the warrior card, okay? Somebody here um, destroyed you, exactly, all right? So somebody in the past did something and then rescue her. 
you tried to help this person. For some of you, literally, you were in a situation with the person. You was trying to help this person. You wanted to, this person to see the light. You wanted them to have support. You wanted to support, uh, support them. You wanted them to feel, um, to feel welcome, love, and appreciated. You are this warrior-like spirit, the, the healer of the ages. This person could have come to you with some kind of financial constraints, okay? And they thought that you were going to be a door to their to their personal healing and happiness. You helped somebody here to get on a new journey here. That now they're going towards victory. This was a part of your soul contract for you to help this person. All right. Um, huh. I'm wondering if this is one person or somebody else or two people. It's like, one thing about it is you have, you have the skill to, and the willpower to release things that are destructive, to go into something brand new. And you may have been dealing with a person who didn't really have um, the strength and the courage to do that for themselves. But the lesson that you had to learn here is you honestly thought that by helping somebody, sticking beside this person, being there to love them, comfort them, and help to usher them into the next leg of their spiritual journey, you most likely expected this person to do the same thing for you. And I don't think that that's what happened. This person did something here. Yeah. Detective, somebody did something to get some kind of information on you, to watch you, to monitor you. Um, they falsified some kind of information. Yeah, you were like a servant to this person. You really did a lot to try to help somebody here. This person thought they took your kindness for weakness. This could be somebody also who uses the lack of money as an excuse, okay? Somebody may have done something because they felt like they needed more money, okay? So somebody somebody definitely decided to deceive you. They, they tried to destroy you in a way because they thought that you were foolish. This person thought that um, with the angel and the fool here that you were just all love and light and that you would be, an, in other words, you would be an easy target, I feel like you walked away from this situation, yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt any less. The Four of Cups is here and the Ten of Swords. This is something, it hurts you to the point where you, right now you almost feel like you don't really want to take a risk with anybody or anything because of what happened in this situation. Let's get a few clarifiers, yeah. This person falsified something. They lied. They lied about something. They tried to ruin your reputation. Um, the three of cups. So this person could be regretful now because they possibly tried to ruin your re reputation to a group of people. This is someone who could have leaked some of your personal um, or private information. Um, they did something to make you look and or feel very bad. Because again, they thought you were an easy target. And this person, they did something because they wanted money or they wanted you to lose money. The Ace of Swords popped out. Yeah, that's the truth. This is a situation of this cycle is over. And I feel like you did walk away from it, which is great. You walked away from it. Yeah, the cycle here is over. And boom, here you have the star, the emperor, and the chariot. You walked away from this situation. You got back on your own chariot. Okay. With the Emperor card here and the star, you're very, very focused. You're more focused than ever right now on ensuring that um, you have your solid foundation, your security, your stability. After somebody tried to block you, this is standing up for yourself, though. Standing up for yourself and protecting you. Somebody wanted to do everything to block you from having wish fulfillment, though. That was their whole goal. Was to make sure that because you did not 
want to do something, you didn't want to serve this person or you weren't willing to do whatever, this also could be the type of person that they helped you at a point in your life. And then when you got on your feet and wanted to move in a different direction and you weren't willing to pretty much act as their servant or their slave, this person was like, well, I tell you what, this is the kind of energy that's like, I made you, you know? So yeah, this is the kind of energy that you are dealing with, unfortunately. Heavy on like a masculine here. There's a masculine who is possibly coming out of this type of situation though and going towards wish fulfillment. This person is now trying to really stand up for themselves and manifest um, abundance. If you're a divine feminine watching this, I feel like you can resonate with this situation. You've probably gone through this, but it feels like for some of you, you're actually connected to somebody that's going through this. For some of you, that is where the trigger is coming from. You've been through this situation before and you could be connected to somebody now that's going through the situation themselves. That devil and Hierophant card, you could be teaching a person right now how to break free out of this and you yourself could be the person who is a wise counsel. That's what I'm getting here. This is something that you've gone through. It could be a little bit triggering for you to see it and pick up on it, but I feel like you're guiding somebody else through it. And somebody also could be very appreciative of you because they have been deceived. This could be somebody who came into your life and at the, when they came into your life, they probably were very defensive. They were hostile and now they're like, oh, wow, no, like you were actually sent into my life as an angel to help me get on a good foot to actually have a brand new beginning. It's two different energies here. For some of you, the reason why there's a split in the energy is because I feel like you're connected to somebody who's coming out of something. But like I said, it's the same thing that you've already come out of. It's a, it's a situation that you've mastered. Somebody tried to destroy this person the same way somebody in your life has tried to destroy you, a person that you, you care for, most likely a friend, family member, or a lover. Okay. So let's look and see here. What were some of the blockages in the past? What was the main blockage here in the past? The main, let's say, spiritual blockage. Worry. Somebody could have been in a situation where they were worried about their finances and they got themselves connected with a person who was very controlling, a person who was very destructive, a person who assassinated their character. Like I said, this could be you or somebody else. And somebody had was forced to just surrender a situation and walk away because this person had to come to the realization that worrying about their own well-being or whatever the case is while dealing with a person that has shown their true colors who's going to sabotage them um and everything else it's not worth their freedom somebody here i feel realized that they needed to tap into their own personal freedom and just accept the situation so someone decided to finally get on their spiritual path and journey and they put a death to this this situation the problem though is that somebody had a very difficult time or is still having a difficult time with forgiving this person or this situation that's the problem here somebody is is, is trying now to forgive a person but it has definitely been a challenge and you can understand why so what needs to be healed? What needs to be healed? Yeah, something has to be healed for somebody to come out of this Four of Cups, Ten of Swords energy. Courage, yeah. It's the willpower, the courage to keep moving forward. The Phoenix rising here, the Death card, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. Yeah. Somebody has to do some deep shadow work, the inner child healing. Um, someone's home was destroyed, okay? This could be a person who has been dealing with some type of family issues, but someone feels like their home was destroyed, and this really, really triggered a person's inner child, a wound that was possibly already there. This is, of course, you have high hopes for a situation. You go and you deal with the person. You get into a relationship sure. with someone or whatever the case is, and then you find out that that person, they're, they're a really nasty-spirited individual, something that you you know, you know never would have suspected from somebody. So somebody here could possibly could have um, gone into a situation with a warrior-like spirit and then 
somebody came in who you thought was there to be kind to you, you find out that later on that this person, they were sent into your life to destroy you. However, you saw them as someone sent into your life as an angel. But I feel that what did happen is somebody has run into a person who is very good. But the problem is when you run into a, a, a very kind-hearted, angelic, divine being after being with someone who is deceitful and destructive, oftentimes you're fearful to accept that type of energy. Yeah, the strength here. So someone has a strength, has to tap into the strength their own inner strength and find the courage for them to be this phoenix rising from the ashes to move in a different direction here. Find the strength and the courage to do their, the inner child healing and the shadow work that's necessary. Wow. Four of Wands. Somebody is ready to celebrate. Somebody wants wish fulfillment. They want, this is the kind of person they really want happiness. They want a home. They want marriage, commitment, security, stability. They want all of that. But right now it's confusing. Somebody is just like, Oh my goodness, like how exactly do I go out there once again and have this after the last time I gave my all to this, I failed at it so bad. It was such a huge failure. 10 of Wands, yeah. Somebody is looking at like the, the possibility of even creating a home or a life for somebody, no matter how victorious or successful it may look or make them feel, they look at this still like this could possibly bring about a burden. But there is a positive shift or change here. Yeah, somebody will eventually make an offer. Yeah, but somebody right now is going through an awakening and they're coming out of this hangman energy. Eight of Swords, there's a mental entrapment that was here. Yeah, somebody is coming out of this energy because whoever was a person that projected all of this negative energy onto a person, that person is now reaping what they saw. Whoever did like spiritually attack the person or did all of this terrible stuff to someone that has literally changed someone's whole mindset about life, love, family, and everything else, that person, they're now, um, the, the wheel is shifting, okay? And now somebody is about to have a brand new beginning, the fool, yeah. So let's see, when it comes to this past situation that is still currently affecting someone's subconscious mind and the current energy, what needs to be released? Surrender to success, yeah. Somebody needs to be focused on their success at this time. Surrender to divine timing. Surrender to success and surrender the idea that you can fix a person. Surrender to complete healing, yeah. Like I said before, this is that new levels, new devils. Somebody had to cross paths with the devil in order for them to get on to um, a, a new beginning that brings about success, stability, security that can be trusted. But surrender your belief in scarcity up. Somebody is now time for somebody to open themselves up to having infinite abundance. But right now, somebody may need to just let go and, and tap in. This may be a good time for someone to seek some kind of solitude to really, really feel like find out what they truly want. So when it comes to the subconscious mind and healing, there's a need to be patient. There's a need to really focus right now on um, success. And a lot of success in the world is going to come from a person successfully actually healing themselves within. Yeah. So somebody is finally going to put something behind them with the death card and the six of swords. Someone is going to finally put something completely behind them and move on to peaceful, calm waters. So... Let's see what are some of these are um, upcoming lifestyle changes currently that someone is focusing on. What <laughs> leaving? There's two cards out here: six of swords and leaving. Somebody is leaving it all behind. Someone could possibly be choosing to relocate and grieve for it. Somebody is just tired of grieving the situation. Good. 
it's really good. Somebody is just ready. They're ready to change your job, change your location. Okay. Seeking and finding. Healing from the past. You are stronger than you know. Yeah. Okay. Good. So somebody is, is finally ready to let something like completely go. <laughs> They're seeking and finding their inner truth. Somebody is allowing themselves to fully heal and, and doing a lot of grief work. So somebody has just been holding on to whatever this devastation is from a situation. I feel like a person lost a lot in dealing with a particular person. It's been a long time, though, cutting the deck here, have the waiting game and the crystal ball. Somebody has been waiting on a situation to take place in the future for a long time. I feel like someone is constantly manifesting, 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 and there's a manifestation that someone has been waiting on to come in, but it hasn't been coming in because the energy, the, the dark, heavy energy of grief is still surrounding the person. This grief and this re this regret, this worry here, this, this death-like energy, somebody went through some type of ending and they've still been carrying the energy of that ending, and therefore, the grief from it is attracting more endings or is not allowing someone to fully have um the new beginning that they're they're searching for passion okay so somebody now is about to um get out of their their comfort zone take a risk yeah a lot of travel here secrets local travel and travel passion Somebody could be connecting with the person right now. Somebody could um, be choosing to kind of go out more. It, it feels like somebody's daily route is about to change. So somebody could be going to a different um, job, a different location. They're moving in silence, though. With a travel card here, somebody also could be dealing with somebody at a distance or somebody wants to travel or take a vacation. I'm getting like a road trip energy here, a vacation. Lot, there's a lot of movement here. Somebody is putting an end to a situation and they're moving forward. This could just be like a new adventure, um, going to the next level in the situation, but... Yeah, somebody is taking a leap of faith to do this. Somebody is, is simplifying their life. They're cleaning everything up. So this is either you or somebody else right now who is moving in silence. Somebody is in solitude. They're going through some kind of deep healing like this metamorphosis right now. I don't think that this person is talking about it. Somebody could be taking long drives, just really trying to get their thoughts together. Okay, somebody could have gone on a trip or they're planning to go on a trip. It feels like somebody by moving and getting out of their current space or environment is helping them to really um, see how they need to transform their life. Now, this passion card out here, um, somebody could be like more passionate just about life. Okay. Now, oh man. I have to call it like I see it because for some, what I'm getting here is you could have thought that a person, I don't know, somebody here was under the impression that a person was good, okay? You could be getting rid of this situation with somebody. Somebody definitely is trying to pay off debts or they're having financial issues here. Someone could, um, somebody could be a social media influencer. Somebody could have an online business.
relocation is here, third party hidden karmic cycle burnout, and then abundance and rebuilding. Okay, abundance, rebuilding, bridge, karmic justice. Okay, let me tell you what's going on here. Somebody was in a connection with a person. And I feel like I feel like somebody is, is finding out now, and it could be slightly after the fact, that the person that they held in such high regard, somebody is realizing that this person was cheating. Somebody is, is like, either this is happening to you. I mean, this is current energy. But there is for sure somebody out here is traveling. They were they were traveling back and forth. So what I'm what I'm really picking up here, just straight up, somebody's partner was traveling back and forth, saying it was for work or whatever. That person was traveling back and forth. And this travel back and forth, that person met somebody. There were issues in a relationship. Somebody has since left a relationship or they're planning to leave a relationship and go be with a person that they were cheating with. This feels like a feminine here. It feels like a masculine is finding out that a feminine that they held in high regard, that they had a lot of respect for, is actually was actually cheating on them. Um... This person is now Yeah. Wow. Somebody thought that something was was all good, but it wasn't. Yeah, somebody was saying that they were traveling for work. A lot of this frequent travel was to make more money. This person could be an online, like an influencer online or something like that. This person literally was, was taking flights, going back and forth. This person could have even decided that they were going to relocate and be with a person that was a third party in their relationship. This is what was hidden. Somebody was two-faced. Somebody... Wow. So somebody put an end to a relationship and they moved on with somebody else. This is a, this was this was a karmic cycle though. Burnout and karmic cycle. So there was a karmic relationship here. Wow, okay. So this is what's happening now. Either somebody is finding out that this happened or somebody now is possibly relocating. But what you don't what you don't know is that somebody is relocating to be with the person that they want to be with. Somebody has started another relationship while in a relationship. And with these financial issues out here, this could be a situation. There could be a feminine who started a relationship with, with another person because the masculine was going through financial problems. This feminine was, was traveling back and forth and got in a relationship with somebody else. They kept that hidden. But I feel like there's karma coming back for that. Yeah, this, is, this, this happened possibly in the past. But somebody is is mentally reliving. So somebody currently could be feeling like, you know, I really need to let go of this situation because they've gotten the truth about it. Somebody may have, you know, seen something with online. Somebody may have seen something online and been like, oh, wow, look, lightning. And was like, wow, that person is dating somebody that they, that they told me that they were just working with or something like that. So somebody right now could be wanting to just be alone. They're in deep thought right now. Love, good news, crystal ball, the star, round and round. Yeah. So somebody is getting over a heartbreak. Somebody here is like, oh, wow. Like, 
they're starting to kind of fall for somebody or want to put themselves back out there. But the idea, the possibility of a person hiding a lot from them and cheating on them, the same way it happened in the past, somebody has not fully healed from a third party situation from the past. You have your love and good news. Yeah, somebody here is is has feelings for a person who possibly was there for them while they were going through this situation. And that they're starting to think about, you know, going towards this connection in the future. It brings wish fulfillment. But somebody here would round and round, they're still, they're still kind of replaying events from the past of how when they were with somebody in the past, working with the person, celebrating with them or whatever, all of a sudden that person ghosted them to, I don't know, go start a business or something else. Somebody here is getting karma though. Whoever like, um, whoever the person is in this situation that really deceived somebody and betrayed them, they're receiving karma. They are receiving karma. If you're wondering, something is going to, to shift. So that's the current situation. Now, more focused on you right now, which is the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you, and of course, for some of you, like this situation, whatever we're picking up on, this could be you or this could be the energy of a person that you are dealing with. So, you know, if, if you're dealing with somebody, you could be picking up a lot of this energy because you guys are sharing energy. Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone right now... Um, taking charge, making a decision to go get their stability. Somebody is like, I'm tired of being down and out. I'm tired of being sad about this situation. It happened, whatever, let's move forward. So somebody now is thinking more about their own life purpose and what is to come for themselves. Teaching. It says you inspire young people to learn. Crystals, your connections to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing and energy. So for some of you, you could be teaching some people something about, um, you could be um, teaching or being taught something about flowers and or crystals. It says your life purpose involves helping, teaching and healing children, family. So some of you may be getting into something here with like family and children, teaching family and children something about um, healing Okay, some of you could be therapists, you could be counselors, but somebody is definitely getting on the good foot. If this is a couple as well, some of you right now, um, you and a person are both healing. And while this person is healing this heartbreak, it's like you kind of help them on their journey, but right now there could be a separation. This person is in solitude. They're trying to really cleanse and clear their energy of this past situation with someone that lied, cheated, or whatever, right now, it will be best for you to focus on your passions, your business, working on helping, healing, teaching, um, caring for your children, your family, or things like that. So let's see what's going on here. This is not a source, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I just saw the Fool and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, look, Queen and King of Pentacles. So for some of you, you want a person you're connecting, but right now, this person, they're kind of healing their heart. And I feel like for some of you, yeah, look, heal three of swords. They're healing their heart at this time. And you're being called to step forward into your life purpose. You know, this cycle here, there's there's like a new, a new cycle that's about to start. Something here is completing. So somebody can move forward. Queen of Cups. The Emperor. See, that makes perfect sense. This masculine is trying to come out of some kind of heartache and pain. They're possibly rebuilding their finances. They are very drawn to a Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is very loving, caring, kind, nurturing. That's why you have the flowers, the family, children. This is an extremely feminine-like energy. The Knight of Swords is this Emperor energy. This person is rushing towards the Ace of Pentacles right now. But they are experiencing romantic feelings for this Queen of Cups, Six of Wands, and they can see themselves having victory and success. Somebody's like, the love from that person makes me feel like there's a positive, a shift, a change. Like, there's still hope.
for me to have true love and this person wants to come in with an offer so this is what's happening now or about to happen very soon okay cool i like it so when it comes to this money and abundance what's going on because there's a lot of abundance here i feel like you and another person you're mirroring each other possibly and like i said before You possibly have already come out of some kind of heartbreaking situation. You've done the healing, but you have, and you're, you're caring, you're kind, you're nurturing. You're connecting with someone that is knee deep in their healing. And, and you don't have to wait on them or anything. I feel like you have kind of put that good energy out there. And now it's up to them to do what they want to do with it. You have the business card here. So somebody could be starting a business growing your business you could be rebranding with your business but the emperor out here somebody is very very serious right now about business and for the divine feminine energy you could be serious about business too but i think that your business is something that perhaps is more um more related to people to to children to family to healing um this emperor is this is a very very masculine energy and you guys already know how men are if you cheat on a man you know it's very hard for them to get over that <laughs> especially an extremely masculine man so this person they, they took a real hit to their ego when this past person betrayed them and they may have just shut themselves down when it comes to love but they're surrendering to healing now it says the, the people you spend the most time with shape who you are investment and reconsider a decision So for some of you right now, you're setting the tone to want to invest in something or you're receiving great returns on your investments. You need to be cautious of who you spend your time with. Don't waste time and also get around people who are like-minded. If you want to be a millionaire or a mogul, you need to, exactly, network, get around the right people. Somebody here could be experiencing a, a change in their job though with the Knife Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody, if they're going out, they're like, I need to dress right. I need to say the right things. I need to be around the right people. I need to have a network of people. Somebody also is looking for investors. They're looking for a network of people who can help them with investing. Somebody wants to get around the movers, the shakers, the millionaires, the moguls. They want to be in that. Again, this feels like either you or this person was connected to somebody who could have been um, together. They could have had something um, very stable and secure, but with this Somebody went through a major lifestyle change because somebody moved. And then networker here, you see all these people here, like somebody is collaborating. Somebody could be going through some type of job training or for some of you right now, you're trying to connect with um, people who can help you with marketing, advertising, the promoting of your business. Maybe you're getting into sales. I just heard of sales funnels. Risk. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to take a risk, though. This card says the odds are better than you think. That's why somebody somebody is looking for investors. Somebody who will willing who will be willing to take a risk on working with them. This could be you, like I said, or ooh, you have your luck and mechanic so somebody could be working with cars or the mechanic being a mechanic doesn't this car says men what needs mending it might be broken but all is not lost consider a career as a mechanic and automotive aerospace or repair technician you have the ability to easily fix your finances but a sacrifice may be needed somebody may be choosing right now also um somebody could be working with cars somebody could be looking for a person to help them um, do something like with car, car sales or something like that. But also too, somebody could be making a decision to give up a car. Like if a person has a luxury car, a very expensive car, no, they, somebody could be downsizing a car so that they can actually um, have the money to invest in something. Somebody is playing something very, very smart right now. This person, Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, somebody's like they're willing to take, make whatever sacrifice is needed at this time for them to have exactly what they want. 
Then you have this voice card here. So for some of you, like I said before, you could be into counseling therapy. You could be considering like a podcast, um, talking to different people about family, um, children, healing, teaching, something like that. Or, or you're just wanting to share your truth in some kind of way. But you have your luckies here. Anything that you do now will be very prosperous and abundant for you. Dreams of abundance, okay? It says, as you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your your desires into reality. See, this is the reason why someone has to get out of this like stuck, stagnant energy because your spiritual team, they're communicating with you at this time, letting you know like what's truly next for you. Um, not a sword. Somebody is becoming very, very passionate about their money, their security, their stability. And I feel like a person is doing this, of course, for themselves, but they do have a partnership in mind. Contemplation time. Yeah. Someone has to make the decision. Somebody is definitely spending time alone. I do feel like for some of you, if there's like some kind of, yeah, there is soulmate relationship, something like that here, you and this person, it, it feels like somewhat of a separation, but it feels like you and someone are both, you're both growing right now. Um, there's an unforeseen windfall of abundance that's coming. You and someone both, like there's these romantic feelings here, but like somebody here is healing trying to get past something from the past, a uh, past situation. And then another person is very focused on um, like building a business or rebranding their business or, or changing their career. So this, this feels like a, a, a like twin flame soulmate separation where you and someone both are really cleansing and clearing things up. You and the person could have met while both of you were in a period of transition. It feels like spirit has you pivoting now like you you kind of have to do something a little bit different i just saw the chariot chariot and the three of pentacles you're moving forward the person who did this moving or traveling could also be a cancer yeah and somebody is freeing themselves from this person so in the future you have the nine of cups and the knight of wands the four of swords hmm Somebody is about to start feeling really good about themselves. In the future, somebody is going to finally be free. Mentally, physically, they're going to really feel good. Somebody is ready to go out and have fun. The moon card and the hierophant. The moon, the hierophant, and the four of swords. <laughs> Somebody is becoming very wise. In the future, somebody is going to gain so much wisdom from what they've learned by doing this shadow work and healing. They're going to be very, very at peace about everything. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all going to work out. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that's so good. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. And this is a, connect, a relationship. Somebody here is about to get them their life extremely stable, very, very stable, very secure, like a lot of stability and security. And I feel like this person is going to go towards this nine of pentacles and they're going to put the work in. You have the eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Wow. Something here is lining up. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of pentacles, all earth energy and the hierophant. Somebody here is seeking wise counsel from the Most High God on how to move forward. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. And this person, somebody here is working so hard. So, so hard. This is a masculine, an emperor. This person is working very hard. And I'm telling you, whatever they're working on, 
God is telling this person what to do and how to do it. And when they get there and they have the, the proper tools and resources, they're going to this divine feminine energy. Yeah. This person is trying to get out of some kind of conflict from the past. They're fighting through that though. They're fighting through it because they've gotten the confirmation or the information that they need about the reason why they were left out in the cold or somebody left out, out in the cold or there's just a new beginning here. The, the Page of Pentacles, this person has a brand new beginning here after, like I said, being left out in the cold, being lied to, cheated on, having financial hardship or whatever. You and this person, if this is a situation of you and another person, both of you have a very, very similar story, a very similar journey. You're just in different places. But the high priestess here, it's a very um, spiritual connection. And your intuition is telling you, for many of you, that this person, that they're, they're going to be taking some kind of action towards you. This person is leaving everything behind. And when they think about the world, they think about the high priestess. And I love how in this reading, this divine feminine has not been out much. This person is moving mountains to make sure that they heal the hermit so that they can go towards the... They're going through an awakening. They're like, I want to be with the divine feminine, the high priestess. Yeah. It doesn't matter what they've been through. This person has been through hell. You have no idea how much this person has gone through. They probably have never actually talked to you about it, but they're coming out of this hangman energy. It's in the reverse. And they are going on a journey. Yep. So good. Okay. So let's see. What are our last messages of advice? Higher power, yeah. God is all over this. And this spiritual um, epiphany or awakening somebody is having, Spirit is saying just be flexible. Be open. Be flexible. The community card is here. A message in a bottle. I feel like this community... With higher power and flexibility here is, I feel like this is a spiritual community. And I, I feel that it's like someone, spirit guides, or angels and ancestors are communicating with them about a new life that is going to be very blessed. And somebody, it's, it's like there's no place like home. Somebody is going to realize that some, some place or some person, there is no place like home. And whatever they went through before, the chaos and the conflict they see now, that wasn't for me. And that's not for you. And it's about to come like a change in the wind. Somebody's like, oh, wow. Okay, now I really see why it didn't it didn't work out. So this stuck stagnant energy where it's been a fork in the road, somebody is about to clean it all up. And you're wondering, so what exactly is happening? And God is saying, I'm, you just got to do this by the book. This is the real thing. You can't take any shortcuts here. That's the reason why. There's nothing really bad about this situation. This is a situation that honestly, it just requires patience. This is, especially if it's like a relationship, you and this person, you're not going to come together and, and either one of you still have a bunch of junk from your past. Nothing is going to be perfect, but Spirit is saying before you and this person, if the high priestess and the emperor, before you and this person can go into a union, you need to clean up whatever you're still healing from. And you both need to be at least aware of what your purpose is. If you want to start a business, start it. If this person needs to work on their finances, they have to do that. Yeah. Treat your body like the palace it is. Mirror. Be your own first priority. One more. Surround yourself with love. Some of you, there's definitely like a separation here. And I don't think it's a bad thing. I think that right now, some of you, this is a great time, especially I feel like I'm talking to the divine feminine right now. Go out, take yourself on dates, treat yourself, take care of yourself. Okay. Um, honor your body, whether that's you working out, doing your, whatever you like to do, but be your own for, first priority. Surround yourself with good people, people who are um, fun, loving, encouraging. You don't have to talk to people who are going to tell you um, a whole bunch of, of nothing, but you know, especially for people who are like on spiritual um, journeys and you're in like these spiritual connections sometimes, uh, the average person won't understand it. You need to talk to people who actually understand how 
growth and healing and evolving and elevating how it works as well as even being in separation you don't want to be around people who are telling you yeah go out and you know be a heathen like that no don't be childish you know <laughs> don't don't listen to people that give you bad advice It says hard and hard. Don't allow the situation to make you bitter, cold, and aloof. And then expansion. You are getting ready to move up into higher levels of awareness through embracing your life experiences. Choose the path of least resistance. When all doors seem to be closed, it is because you have not tried to open the correct one just yet. Okay. So, yeah, it's a situation out here for sure where somebody, there's a situation that it could hurt you. Okay. Um, you're being encouraged. Don't let it. Don't let anything or anyone harden your heart. If some of you are going through a situation right now where you're finding out somebody that you care for is cheating on you, you're still being encouraged to move forward. If that's the case, like if you find out that here you are planning to, you know, do something great with a person and they're cheating on you with somebody at a distance or whatever. You still have to find the strength and the courage to heal and move forward. A lot of you, though, I feel like this is something that you've already gone through is what I'm feeling here. But, of course, everybody's on a different timeline. For some of you, the, the person that I feel in this reading is really going through this currently, it really feels like a masculine, like an actual man. It feels like a masculine that's going through this. But there's a divine feminine here that can you can see it. And maybe you're giving this person some kind of advice or something. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck here, we have strength and resilience. Wow. And then it says here, accept love and cleansing body and spirit. Yeah, this is um, imagine and envision is here. Change and progress. Wow. Speak your mind. And look at these two people here. And look at this. This is like your ancestors, your spirit guides, angels. They're, they, they are giving thanks. They're, they're happy that you're learning this lesson. And I feel, oh, this is so beautiful. I feel like it's your, your spiritual team. And for some of you, if this is related to love, your person, their spiritual team, both of them are very happy to see that you guys are learning these lessons. Because the divine feminine, you're being very strong and resilient. Okay, I feel like you you now are seeing certain things or you're accepting things that have happened, but you're open to accepting love. It may have it may require some time out. And for some of you, if you're still trying to overcome a, a breakup, this is a good time for you to um cleanse your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul. Really tap in, treat yourself really well at this time. Manifest, script, journal. Do things that help you because there is a very there's a, a lover coming in for a lot of you. For some of you, this is a person. This person it reminds me of like a knight. This person they don't seem like they have it all together right now, but they're extremely determined to bring you wish fulfillment. This person wants to come towards you. Look at these two people. They're gonna come towards you and speak their mind. This is so cute, and it's a spiritual connection. <laughs> This is like two people. You're both very spiritual beings, but in a different way. It's a yin and yang energy. Gratitude and thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Your spiritual team is like, yay, you made it. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cute. Really, really cool. Okay. Um, and let's see. Get a message from spirit. Actually, I have one more. Yeah. See, you are enough and you have transitions. It says you were born enough. Okay. This might be a message for you and someone else to understand. False beliefs is here. It says once the untruths we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations and that confine us. Oh, wow. It says the key to intimacy. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those closest to us. 
The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. Yeah, that makes sense. And somebody is going through a huge period of transitions in their life where they're pivoting. Somebody has had to see what love is not. You have all of the inner resources you need to cross whatever bridges arise on your path. Be who you are as you are. The spirit self. Yeah, somebody here definitely was... <laughs> had a distorted desire. Somebody somebody fell in love with a star and they thought that this person was their end all be all and that person turned out to be a, a, like a devil in a dress or for some of you feminines, <laughs> you was in love with a whole demon and now being on your path and your journey seeing what love is not, you're about to really see what love truly is because God is going to send you somebody now who is their patient, they're kind, they're strong, they're resilient. They know how to give thanks and gratitude and they are actually approved by God and your spiritual team. This is you picking a person out that's in alignment with your soul purpose, your higher self, not your ego. So serenity is here. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. What I say, I feel like this is a mask. There's a mask on who has been finding it very difficult to really love and allow love in because of what happened to them in the past. But here's the feminine energy, and it says, believe. The force that works through your soul determines what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. You have to believe that there is something here good. I feel that a lot of you are in a place in your journey right now where it looks like, oh my goodness, something is falling apart. But you have to understand sometimes, like I said, new levels, new devils. God will come in and test your, your strength and your endurance. And it'll feel like it's you being hurt or harmed and something coming from you from the pits of hell. But sometimes God will, will push you far enough to make you break out of those certain strongholds so that you don't constantly go around and around. Some of you are needed to change your, your perspective about something. You're not actually being punished. You're actually being prepared. Wow. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. I told you. This was the very first card out in this reading. Some of you, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, they are really, really trying to make their presence known to you. They come out to me like twice in this reading. And I feel like for some of you, you and a person that you're connected with are both going through a spiritual awakening. That person could be connecting more with their higher self and their spirit guides just as you are. And this could be new to both of you. I think one of you is a bit further along on your journey than the other, though. Since love was coming out in this reading, I am going to pull a few love oracles. You guys, please let me know if you like the... Uh, the format of this reading. Oh, please and thank you. <laughs> Finances, financial challenges. See, somebody, <laughs> somebody definitely, and one person is giving too much in this relationship. Does this a situation? Does this situation align with your world values and morals? <laughs> Take time to get to know each other. Yeah, somebody is coming out of something rough. You already know the answer that you seek. But you need time to, to retreat. To allow yourself to recharge with spirit saying your true love is already part of your life. Anything else? But you should not be over giving to the situation. Because to be honest with you, somebody here is, is possibly still having financial challenges. Because of where their heart space is. Whoever this person is here that's having these financial challenges, they're going to have to let go of this resentment and this energy of death of them having a difficult time with letting go of something from the past in order for their finances to move in because everything is energy. But because this person is not fully healing right now, you should not be overgiving. 
Don't give too much in this situation because you know that's not what you want. Allow this person to heal. If it's meant to be, it'll be. If it's not, that's fine. But for a lot of you, this is your twin flame. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yin and yang. Third party. And you see here, there's a woman here with two men. There's a masculine out here that I'm going to be honest. This person is butthurt. Because the person that they thought was, could do no wrong <sighs> hurt them bad. Really, really bad. Wow, this is so interesting. Um, that car literally has a woman on it and two men. I knew it. <laughs> Dead end here. I love you. Fire and desire. You could have been feeling like this situation for some of you was a dead end. There's something that can change. You may feel like a dead end because it's it, it's imbalanced. If you're dealing with a twin flame, this is when you know it's time to um, separate. There's some kind of healing that needs to take place. And sometimes you can't heal with that person there or with around. I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be like a, a physical separation where you don't talk to this person you don't see them that doesn't have to be the case for some of you but your focus your priority needs to be switched from that person to you there's a heavy third party energy here there's something or someone that is affecting your relationship and it's time to address it Either somebody has a third party for some of you or somebody has been struggling with the trauma of being in a third or finding out that they were a third party or something like that. 